Welcome back to What Arty Noobs for General Disturbance. Now this is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG, and we're located on the Eastbourne of Arctic region, otherwise known as the Mannheim Line, the recreation of the Winter War between Finland and the Soviet Union. Now the name of the commander of this M44 is VVP. And I don't understand what it stands for, but I do know that this player is particularly good. And so you will enjoy this replay. It's not a command, but I think you'll enjoy this replay. Now, he's off to his firing position. And as you may know, the M44 was built on the chassis of the M41, the Walker Bulldog light tank. And they didn't actually start manufacturing them until after World War II. Uh, which is a bit of a puzzle because you see one of these in the film Pattern. Okay, knocks over a tree there. You shouldn't really do that as I've demonstrated many times before in the past. Knocking a tree down could actually result in your sudden departure from the game. Uh, <laughs> you quickly get wiped out. But it appears the enemy is not paying attention. But that ARL-44 is about to get hit. Yes, that's a 174 hit point splash. Two critical hits. And he's picking up some stun assist there. Now, he can't get an angle on that KV-1 because the mountain's in the way. Uh, but as they get closer to his forces, he might be able to strike them. Right, that ARL-44 is difficult to hit because he's in the dip. But he can just about get that T-34. But he's going for the Type T-34, the Chinese version. Still Type five, uh, Tier 5. Round out on the Type. No, it went long. Now, um, VVP has got a reload time of 17.2 seconds. Now, that's not the fastest that an M44 can get. My own... M44 will actually fire at 16.1 seconds but it's a very fast reload and it means you can fire out a whole world of hurt on the enemy and an AMX ELC has managed to sneak up on the cap and he's sitting behind that hill there <laughs> but unfortunately VVP shell is just too late and the ELC is taken out by a T3485 but there's a T80, T67 and he's trying to creep up on the north route. And I think that uh, t 67 in defilade of that bunker. Oh, we can get a shot now. Rounds out. He splashes both of them. The Chinu and the T-67. So he's picked up some hit points there. And that 3002 is being very bold. Moving forward like that. He's going to get hit badly. And round out. No, he just stuns the 3002. Unfortunately, we lost the T-34. But that T-67 has also gone down to the Leopard. Right, the Chinu is also in danger. And... Rounds out. And that landed nearby, but it was... Um, he didn't do much. Only 143 off that one. Or did he actually only stun it? I think he only stunned it. Okay, he's turned to face the south route because there are some enemies still down there. He's reloaded, ready to go. He's backing a bit to try and get behind those bushes. Also to give him a better angle on hitting these enemy tanks. Okay, the Type T-34, he fired at that before. And the Oni. Now he can fire on the Oni. He's lining up a shot, almost dialed in. Oh, red line there. Oh, he's side on now. Round out. Oh, it hits the rock. He stuns him, but not more than that. Now, he's reloading halfway through. Just reposition a little. He can still hit the Oni. Lining up the shot. That IS is not going to last long. And he's been taken out. He gets a hit. 110 hit points on the Oni. But the enemy is now free to move up through the pass. So... VVP is relocating to the north end of the map as quickly as he can. The M12 should be doing the same, but he's not. He's actually standing his ground, and that will result in his death. Yep, well, the M12 fired shotgun, 
but it doesn't appear to have worked out well for him. That Chaffee's about to take him. And the Chaffee's gone down. The Hellcat got him. So that M12 is safe to fire again, but always oh, it's receiving more hits. Okay, VVP's ready to fire. Now most of his team have been wiped out. There's only two members of his team left. The M12, who's probably only a quarter of his health left. Now he's gone. And that Hellcat that uh, helped the M12. But that round on the IS-2, right on the money. 195 hit points, takes him out of the game. And that's uh, VVP's first kill of the game. Now we know there's two other enemies down the south route. A Type T-34 and an Oni. We can't see them at the moment. It looks like the Hellcat's going to have to do the spotting. But he's pulled back because there's an enemy Hellcat coming round the other side. Oh, this is going to be very awkward. He's got tanks coming up from one direction. And there's a round from the enemy. So it might be that he was spotted and the enemy RT fired at him. There are two enemy RT, an M44 and a GW Panther. And they're pretty good RTs. Good fire rate, good damage potential. Right, the Hellcat's been seen by the his Hellcat. And they're dueling out right now, circling each other. Oh, his own Hellcat is taking in hits. There's the T-34. Raz out. Oh, he kills him. Oh, but he's lost his own Hellcat. So he's now on for a Coliban off if he can defeat them all. This is going to be very difficult. And there was a round from the enemy RT just coming in where he was. So he was probably spotted. But he's got the Hellcat coming off to the south. He fires around shotgun. I wouldn't do that with that Hellcat nearby. But um, yep, there's a round from the enemy RC again. He is firing shotgun at the Oni. He's not overhead aiming. And the Hellcat's coming in close. And there's the... Oh my god, he's ran killed the Hellcat. He backed into the Hellcat. And killed him. He was so fragile. And that's a round from the enemy RT again. Both enemy RT are firing. He's got three kills now. Type T-34. He took out the um, the Hellcat. And he's taken out the Oni now. Oh my god. There's only two enemy RT left to hit. But he received a hit from the enemy M44. Just shows how powerful this SPG is. He's lost some hit points. He lost uh, 33 to the Hellcat when he rammed him. And he lost 103 to the M44 when he got splash hit. But there's only two enemy RT now. And the M44 is one of the best RTs to shotgun in and uh, move about rapidly. It's got a 155mm howitzer. The other fast RTs are the Lorraines and the Batchats. And of course, although the Burt is the fastest RT of all, the FP304... Problem is, it's not a very powerful gun. Whereas the guns on the Batchats, the Lorraines, and the M44 are very powerful. They're 155mm howitzers. Okay, now he's a bit cautious about going down that route because he might be spotted. The M44 is going to have the same view range as him. The GW Panther is going to be a bit slower. There's the GW Panther. Now, is he going to go to overhead aim? Or is he going to do it shotgun? I think that GW Panther's headed this way. Oh, oh my god, he shotguns him. It was a manually aimed shotgun. The M44 fires and misses. So he's going to be in reload right now. Oh my god, if he can get him, he can shotgun him right now. He's getting close. He's going to be loaded before the other one is. And he shotguns him and wins the battle. Oh my god, that's a Kolobanov. And he's got a top gun to boot. My god, what an exciting ending. That was one hell of a battle. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. Oh my god, he only got a first class, would you believe it? A first class tanker. <coughs> Excuse me. He picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 14 in that battle. He picked up a duelist because he damaged and destroyed two vehicles which damaged him during the battle. 
And he picked up the medal that everyone would like to get, the Color Banoff medal. He stood alone against five enemy, although it was very briefly against five enemy, because he took out the Type T-34 just as his teammate in the Hellcat was taken out by the enemy Hellcat. Um, and then, of course, he pr proceeded to dispose of the enemy one by one, including ram killing the Hellcat from behind by backing into him. What made the Hellcat not fire? I do not know. Maybe he wasn't loaded, but uh, uh, that was a most funny way to ram kill your enemy. Um, he also picked up a counter battery medal because he took out the GW Panther and the M44, both of the enemy arties. He got the rock solid because he ram killed the Hellcat, uh, <laughs> which is a pretty amazing thing to get in this sort of a battle. And lastly, he picked up the Top Gun. He managed to get at least six kills during that battle. And we can see that listed there. Look at those. Oh my god, what a battle. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, highest amount of damage, 1,720 hit points. But he was not the highest damage overall. That went to the Oni, who managed to get 2,347. And he picked up the High Calibre. And that would have helped him to actually get the Courageous Resistance reward. Um, but uh, VVP managed to pick up the highest number of kills with six and get that Top Gun. And he also picked up the highest base XP of 1044. He fired 15 rounds, got 6 direct hits, 6 penetration and 6 splash. He did damage of 1,720 hit points, of which 713 were at more than 300 meters. Obviously, a lot of those hits were very, very close, including the ram kill, which was in contact with the enemy, <laughs> actually ramming into them. Um, he received one hit as a result of splash damage, and that came from the enemy M44. He spotted two enemy vehicles, and those are the GW Panther and the M44. He hit nine of the enemy, that's three-fifths of the enemy team, and he killed six of the enemy, that's uh, um, two-fifths of the enemy team. He also did damage, stun assistance damage of 1, 000, uh, 172 hit points off seven stuns. On a premium account, he earned 37,976 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he still had 29,449 credits spare. He received 1,566 XP and he had a personal reserves bonus going at the same time. So that was doubled up to 3,132 XP in total. But that was one hell of a battle. It was so exciting at the end because it was so rapid. I and mean, it wasn't just the fact that he was being assaulted, but from two different directions, from the Oni in front of him, from the uh, Type T-34 in front of him, and from the Hellcat from the other side. But then to have the enemy RT firing in and keep firing in where he was spotted, but keep missing him as well because he kept relocating, just made it all the more exciting. So well done, VVP. Congratulations. That was a really great battle. Very exciting indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.